Hello YouTube, my name is Daniel and welcome back to another video. This is the third video in my Android music streaming app series where I'm building a streaming app from scratch using Jetpack Compose and Firebase. In the last video we set up our model classes, um, our constants and also our dependency injection using Hilt. In this video I'm going to set up the repository and also the view model. So to get started we will create the repository and we'll create that in the parent directory. This will be called track repository. And firstly, we need to initialize um, some values for Firebase. So first off, we need the storage instance, which we will call storage. And we can get that from accessing firebase.storage and just run that import. Next we need our album art reference, which is the reference we are going to use to download our album art files, and that will be album art storage dot reference dot child constants dot album art all caps. And that is referencing the folder for our album art. And finally, we need the track reference, which is where we will get our tracks from. And that will be storage dot reference as it is in the parent folder and we don't need to access any of the children objects. Now, this repository is just going to have one method to retrieve the list of tracks and get all of the track data, such as the album art and the MP3 files. We will call this get tracks and this will be a suspend function and we will use a suspended core routine for this as we want to return a result of the list of tracks and that will be a list of track and we will call this result and just run that import. Now first we're going to declare a mutable list of tracks and this will be initialized as empty and we will just add our tracks to it once we have downloaded all of the relevant details. So mutable list of track. Now we want to wrap this in a try catch block just in case we catch any exceptions. We don't want that to be crashing our app. And inside here, we'll just print the stack trace of the error. I'm just gonna add a bit more space. So first step is accessing Firebase and Firestore. And the collection, the collection name will be constants.tracks. And then we want to use the get method and we want to add a oncomplete listener. And we need the curly braces for this. And now first we need to initialize our index as we need to keep track of that as we move throughout the array of tracks. So this method here has retrieved all of the tracks from Firebase. We now need to loop through them and get all of the near details, such as the track file URL and also the image URL. So we will run a for loop here and we'll use task as the name of this result. So task, task.result, dot for each. And first off, we need to get the image URL which will be the album art reference that we created earlier, dot child. And then we can pass in the document, which we will be looping through here. So document. And to get the album art, we need to use the get string method. So get string. And pass in constants dot album art. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be there, so I'm going to add the double exclamation marks as I know this won't be null. 
but in your in your case if you do not know that this is null don't put this here as it will throw an exception and probably do a try catch or initialize it as empty by using the Elvis operator like that but I'm going to be using two explanation marks next I'm going to get the track URL and that will use the track reference dot child document dot get string and pass in constants dot file name and just make sure we use get string there now we've got both of our track and image URL references we now need to download them and request the actual URL and we can do this by using image URL dot download URL on success listener hit enter and then when we have the image download URL which will be here image download URL We can then request the track URL also. So track URL, download URL, add on success listener, track download URL. We can then create our track object and add it to the list. So track list dot add, and then we can use our extension method, which will be document dot to track. We can pass in the index the image URL to string a track download URL and then once we've added it to the list this will continue to leap through and get all of the download URLs for all of our tracks and when we are at the end we want to resume the result to the quarantine which will then pass it back to the view model and then the UI so in order to do that we need to first check if the index is equal to task dot result dot size and that is the size of the collection which we obtain up here and as the index will be starting at zero we need to minus this by one just to make sure the numbers are aligned and then if that is true we want to call result dot resume and then pass in our track list and that will complete the call routine and after that we just want to increment the index by using index plus plus and that is our repository completed so this will be used to provide our track list to our view model which would then provide it to our ui and now we've created the track list the next thing to do is to provide it using our dependency injection method which is hilt and to do that we need to go back to our injection class and create our method Firstly, we need to annotate this with app provides. And the method will be called provide repository. And this will return a track repository. And just open brackets and type return track repository. And if this had any parameters, you will also be able to initialize them here as well. Now we've created this method, we can move on to the view model. In order to do that, we right click on the parent directory and select new Kotlin class slash file. And this will be called track view model. As we are using Hilt, all view models will need to be annotated by Hilt view model. And this class will also need to extend view model. And we will add the repository to the constructor using hilt constructor injection. And we can do that by using the inject annotation constructor and pass in our repository. And we will call that track repository. Make sure you run the import. And as soon as the track view model is created we want to run the method to get all of our tracks and we can do this by using the init method so as soon as the track view model is initialized we'll run our method to get our list of tracks and that will be view model scope as we want to launch a coroutine 
on the background thread using dispatches.io. And we will call the track repository dot get tracks dot let as we want to access the result. And then we are going to post it to some live data which we haven't created yet, but I'm just going to add that in now. And that will be called track list post value. The list of tracks, and then we want to sort it by the index as we want the first track in the list to appear first. So we can do that by using it dot sorted by it dot index. And that will sort our list by the index. Now we want to declare our live data up here. First off, we will have the private value, which will be underscore track list. And this will be mutable live data list of track. Run that import. And next we will have the public value which the UI will access. And that will be val track list, which will be live data, not mutable. List of track. And then we just add the getter for this value, which will be the track list. And that is everything for the view model. And now in the main activity, we just need to observe the track list. So we will create a function called observe view model. And we need to and then to access our view model in our main activity, we just need to add a value up here. So val view model, which is a track view model, and then by view models. And this we use hilt to provide our view model. Then we can access it in our observe view model method, access the track list, observe it, pass in the lifecycle owner, which will be the activity. And then there's two curly braces. And in here we can access our track list and that'll be ready for when we start working on the UI. I'm going to end this video here, guys. So in this video, we created the view model and also the repository and set up the observer in our main activity. In the next video, we will start on the UI and get working on our theme. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video and please subscribe.